love you. Birthday breakfast. You've got eggs, pancake, and fruit. A strawberry and blueberries. Happy birthday, my love. She did not eat her eggs well, so I'm gonna give her some yogurt and see if she'll eat that. first birthday today we took a kind of slow start to the day connor worked half a day from home indy woke up played with some balloons and stuff had um, some time with her cousins had a breakfast and after her first nap we are headed out for the day and we are going to go to nothing but cakes we're gonna go to build a bear because they do a really cool thing where you pay your age and on your birthday you pay your age for the bear so they have a special birthday bear she's gonna get and then we're gonna go get some lunch. She loves pasta, so we're thinking somewhere Italian. And then to the Creative Discovery Museum because some of our friends went together and got her a season pass for her birthday. So let's get going. her party theme. Her theme is the first trip around the sun, so I had to stay with the theme. We love a good theme. Indy, look at Sunny. You made your very first build a bear. You ready for some lunch? We ditched Sunny's pants because she was busting at me and sag, so probably shouldn't have bought them anyway, but it's fine. Is that your bear? And he loves pasta, so we came to get some Alfredo for her birthday lunch. Let's get a clip of your 
outfit before you get it filthy. T-shirt says, birthday girl. Now back home after a very eventful day out, um, and I think we are gonna go ahead and end for today, and we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow for her birthday party. Are you gonna have a birthday party? Say yes. Yes, I'm gonna have a birthday party tomorrow. Can you blow a kiss? So it is the next day. It's officially party day. It's 1227. Party starts at one. So I've got everybody out there doing the last minute things. And I thought I would show you all the little details. So let's go check out the setup.
some very thorough product testers. <laughs> That's the aftermath. I am so tired. I totally underestimated how much energy throwing a first birthday was going to be. It was great. We had fun. What are you talking about? I'm going to make a video for Indy's birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Indy. <laughs> Post party Mexican dinner. Does she? Yeah, yeah he's got Barbie. With Barbie. <laughs> okay, so it's quite a bit later. It's like not even okay. It's nine o'clock on the dot. Um, we are just super tired. So great weekend, so fun. But we're turning in early tonight. So we had a really good turnout at the party. I'm not sure how many people came. I didn't like account or anything, but um. Had a really good turnout and I was kind of surprised because she did really good with presents and I wasn't exactly expecting that I know a lot of one-year-olds kind of don't understand presents yet and I don't know that she understood presents as much as she has this love every toy and it's like a tissue box and you pull out the different little cloths it literally works like a tissue like box and so she loves it and I think that that toy is what made her so good at opening presents because a lot of people did bags and she had a field day pulling out the tissue paper. And so, I don't know, I've just, I've never seen a one year old react and like get it so well. And again, I'm not entirely sure that she really got it, but I don't know, I was very excited about it. And especially after the cake, because Indy is not a girl who likes to be the center of attention. And so I think that that was kind of like uncomfortable for her. But I mean, I don't think anybody likes getting the happy birthday song sung to them. So I totally get that. It's also kind of an interesting, kind of weird thing to experience for the first time. But um, yeah, so there was that. But I've just had so much fun with her birthday and everything that came with that. One thing that I did totally underestimate was how much goes into that first birthday. Like, mom, I am so sorry that I was not proactive like you told me to be. Maybe next time I'll listen. But, I don't know. Like, I waited until January because her birthday is toward the end of the month. And so I thought, hey, that's plenty of time, right? No. So if you have a baby whose birthday is in the next, like, three to four months, like, I know it sounds crazy to go ahead and start planning, but go ahead and start planning. Because I was definitely underestimating what all goes into it. And at the end of the day, yes, a lot goes into planning that birthday and um, when you have, the first birthday is a pretty big one and while that can be very overwhelming and the decor and everything that goes into that, like, um, you know, it can be a lot. It also kind of humbles you because I feel like God just really reminded me, like, each of these numbers, that's a person who loves and cares about your daughter and as a parent, it just means the world for someone to take interest and love and care for your child. So. Um, I'm just feeling very, very grateful, both for her year, for her health, for the people that surround us, the, the village, I, you know, I remember all too often that not everybody has that, and so I'm just super, super grateful, and I'm in a really good mood, and I'm going to bed early, and it's just great. <laughs> but with all of that being said, I mean, that wraps up the birthday festivities, so I guess I will go ahead and head to bed in the vlog here, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!